The borderline between government and separatist-controlled territories in eastern Ukraine is several hundred kilometers long. The checkpoints on the main roads connecting these territories are manned by the border guards and customs officers, who check the passports, luggage and cargo shipped to and from Ukrainian-controlled territory. But insufficient number of border checkpoints is resulting in huge delays and a major boost to the smuggling business. And it wasn't until July when the government started taking serious steps to combat the growing cross-border smuggling problem. We created the so-called mobile groups consisting of representatives of various government agencies, including representatives of NGOs. We went to eastern Ukraine to see firsthand what these mobile groups are and how they work. And the volunteer, who is a member of one of the mobile groups, told Ukraine today the problem was getting out of hand. Our mobile patrol unit is catching the smugglers and their cargo, which they are trying to move from the territory of Ukraine to the uncontrolled territory of Ukraine by bypassing the official checkpoints. Back in Kyiv, Yuri says that catching just the smugglers is not enough. The main task is to apprehend those people who are tempted by this situation and allow the illegal transfer of cargo across the borderline and take bribes for this. The security service of Ukraine says that in order to fight smuggling effectively, they need to make sure that the government agents themselves aren't involved in the criminal enterprise. Rodion confirmed the problem. We apprehended a large convoy. There were some 21 trucks there, and a guy from the armed forces of Ukraine arrived to negotiate their free passage. Well, he was arrested. The mobile units patrol the buffer zone between Ukrainian and separatist control areas 24-7 in such armored vehicles. And tonight we'll join one of such patrols consisting of military prosecutor, tax officers and two security officers. Even though the van is armored, everyone, including us, is wearing personal body armor. The driver drives this armored van as fast as the road allows. We're now in the so-called buffer zone, beyond the territory controlled by the Ukrainian government, but still haven't entered the separatist-controlled territory. Everything may happen here. And here's the first catch of the night. The military at a checkpoint stopped a suspicious truck and called the mobile unit in. Cell phone car charges don't look like the humanitarian cargo desperately needed in Donetsk. The driver couldn't explain comprehensively where he was taking them. I see here a lot of commercial goods. Were you bring this to some sort of a store? These are deliveries. I don't know who they are for. So you work in a courier service? No, I replace the driver. With the round-the-clock service, the mobile units can potentially patrol the entire borderline and make sure the goods aren't smuggled back and forth. The problem is, they confess, there aren't enough units to patrol such a vast territory and logistical support to have their operations running 24-7. This is Volodymyr Slub, Serhii Kisilov and Serhii Hrchuk reporting from Donetsk region for Ukraine Today.